solve the following equation, and it says be sure to check for extraneous solutions. Remember, solutions, extraneous solutions are solutions that you might get, but might not be correct. So you did, you're going to do everything correct, but you might end up with one or two solutions, and they might be extraneous. They might not work for this specific equation. So first, I want to be able to get rid of the square root. To get rid of the square root, there's nothing else on the left hand side except for the square root. The 3x minus 5 is inside. So to cancel it, we're going to do the opposite operation, which we we're going to square. The square root and the square cancels. And whenever you square both sides, that's where we start getting extraneous solutions. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to end up with 3x minus 5. On the right hand side will be x minus 3 squared, which is x minus 3, multiplied by x minus 3. Now I'm going to multiply this out. Gives me 3x minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. I'm going to combine like terms. That gives me 3x minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. And now I have a quadratic equation, so I want to make k equal to 0. I can move everything to the left or everything to the right. Since I want the x squared to be positive, I'm going to go ahead and move my 3x to the right, becomes a negative 3x, and my 5 to the right becomes a positive 5. 0, that gives me a negative 9x, and that gives me a positive 14. And now that is equal to 0, I'm going to see if I can factor it, so I can solve it. If I can not factor it, then I have to use the quadratic formula. In this case, I believe it factors nicely. Factors of 14 will be 7 and 2. This is a positive, so they should have the same sign. In this case, they both should be negative. And if I multiply it out, I do get the negative 9x. Since it's equal to 0, I can use my zero power property, which tells me that at least one of them should be equal to 0. Since they're multiplying and they're equal to 0, x minus 7 should be equal to 0, and or, or x minus 2 should be equal to 0. Move the 7 to the right, x is equal to 7. Move the 2 to the right, comes a positive. And now I want to check to see if they both are correct. So I'm going to go back to my original equation and first I'm going to plug in a 7 to see if it's true. So let's go and check. Checking is a very quick process. The square root of 3 times x minus 5 is equal to x minus 3. But instead of the x I'm going to replace it with a 7 first. Notice I place a 7 on both x's. And I must simplify the left hand side. That gives me 21 minus 5. 16, square root of 16 is 4. On the right hand side, it gives me 4. So therefore, that one's fine. Now let's go and check 2. The square root of 3x minus 5 is equal to x minus 3. If I solve the x, I'm going to replace it with a 2. That gives me 9. 6 minus 5 is square root of 1, which is 1. And on the right hand side, I end up with 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And that is incorrect. So therefore, my only answer is x equal to 7. x equal to 2 is what we call extraneous solutions. We did everything correct, but this does not work on this equation. So your only answer is x equal to 7.